What's up guys, Nolan here, and today we're breaking down the notes that I took away from the podcast the team did with Nikita in my usual no BS fashion. On April 15th, the team, who is a Twitch stream group including Pestily, Ghost Freak, Sigma Inc., Veritas, and Slush Puppy met with the lead dev of Escape from Tarkov, the Juice Lord, the man, the myth, the legend himself, Nikita, to discuss the current state of the game, and Nikita was able to drop some big details. First, we have a big announcement next week, so the week of April 22nd, there will be a big announcement coming from BSG, stay tuned to the BSG Twitter to hear more. Hackers. Nikita mentioned that last month they banned over 50,000 accounts linked to cheating and still ban more every day. He also mentioned that they banned thousands of streamers hacking as well as the most notable person actually showing very old footage while selling broken hacks. The guy actually messaged BSG and asked them to stop because it was a win-win. He gets to make money from scamming people looking for hacks and BSG gets less hacks. So obviously, however, this is something that is not good for the image of the game and really does need to stop and that is what BSG is doing. They they are working on a feature where you can personally click a button after the raid that will alert BSG of a suspicious player. If the player gets enough pings, then it will draw BSG's attention and hopefully get that person banned quicker if they actually are hacking or cheating. The ping limit they added recently was to combat the ocean of hackers that are coming over from China and Nikita said that it will actually be lowered to something like 180 or even less before it gets taken away. It's unfortunate that some people can't play with friends that are far away anymore, but it really is a necessary evil at this time. Nikita also wanted to mention that the current server issues are are not just BSG related, but also World Wide Web related, since everybody is now on the internet more often with this quarantine and pandemic situation. There will be more tournaments coming where they are working on getting people that actually know Escape from Tarkov to commentate on it so that it's not so cringy anymore. The weight system is currently somewhere Nikita likes it. He understands the days of being able to carry out squads worth of gear is over, but it's the way BSG want it to be. On that note, however, Nikita did mention that they are working on a feature where exits could work like a Dropbox. You can go to an extract and pay something, or maybe it'll be free, but you just need to wait a long time. Either way, drop off gear to be safely delivered to your stash, then head back to the raid. This is instead of having to leave the raid completely in order to keep the gear, and it will free up weight while in raid. Nikita will look at buffing the loot in Interchange specifically for the locked rooms like Kiba, Kill a Safe Room, and the storage containers because it's not really worth the risk or effort at the moment. The EFT merch store is delayed until this pandemic is over. The first iteration of Steam Audio will be coming in patch 12.6, where for those who don't know, it will change the way you hear directional sounds such as footsteps above or below you. The customs map changes will be shooting for after 12.6, when asked what brand new map could be coming next, Nikita said Lighthouse, maybe Streets. Nikita said that they will work on getting a hotkey that drops backpacks to free up weight and mobility in fights. 12.5 will be coming soon with mostly game fixes, a huge graphical settings update that will put an end to the Nvidia freestyle settings that were giving people an unfair advantage, and the quick healing service through Therapist. Nikita said that they will be adding a group offline mode, but it will require a special server system for security reasons and also not to expect it anytime soon. The Shoreline boss, codenamed The Doctor, will be coming soon. When asked, Nikita said you will be seeing signs of him soon. I expect he will have some kind of special location on Shoreline as his hideout, or something similar to kill his safe room perhaps, that we're going to be seeing with 12.5. Nikita said again that the wipe is looking like 12.6, although he seemed a bit more on the fence about it than last time, so we may see an issue with that. All we can do is wait. And last, but certainly not least, the guns. Nikita said the vector won't be in until patch 12.7, but the 1911, along with the 45 ammo for it will be in for 12.6. Nikita also mentioned that everything we've been seeing is work in progress on social media will be coming in the next few months. He specifically named the RPD machine gun, UMP, revolvers, which this could be either the Chiapa Rhino or that revolver shotgun or both or something new, I'm actually not sure. All he said was revolvers. The vector, new pistols, and many others, he said. So that's everything that was regarding the current development of Escape from Tarkov from yesterday's The Team podcast with Nikita. If you want to learn anything about Escape from Tarkov in a clear, no BS fashion, be sure to check out my EFT Like a Pro playlist. If you guys like this video, then you know the drill. I really appreciate the people who do. If you lack the critical information, then you can come by and ask me during my live streams. Otherwise, I hope you at least learned something, and I also hope you have a nice day. See you guys.